negative thoughts, something that can totally mess up your day, runs through your veins, totally takes over your vessel. It's as if you're possessed and all of a sudden everything just becomes bad. Everything is just seen as pain. Everything becomes inconvenient. The cup is now half full. You know, whereas you were looking forward to going to the gym, now it's like, oh my God, I gotta go and suffer through pain. Whereas you looked at school and you saw that, oh, I'm gonna go learn something today. Now it's, oh God, I gotta go into that classroom and deal with like a crowd of people and what if the professor picks on me? Everything is shifted, turned upside down and it's just seen as a negative thing. You're focusing on the worst case scenario. You know, whereas with your PMO addiction, fapping, adult content, you're purely looking at the, the good side of it, which is just the fun chemicals and the, and the literally just the neurochemicals and the high that you get, and you're not looking at the negatives. We're also doing the flip side with many parts of our life where we're blocking out all the positive for instance, a social interaction or talking to a stranger or approaching that, that cute girl. And we're only looking at the negatives of their judgments of what could go wrong of your own and focusing on your own insecurities, your, your esteem issues, these self-conscious negative thoughts. What are we to make of them? How do we get out of them? How do we, how do we help ourselves? What are we supposed to do about this? This is something that haunted me for a very long time until I finally found a way to get out of this. Now, given this isn't something that there is a magic solution, it's more like you have to understand this like you would in a classroom, and then you have to go experience it. So what does that mean? I'm going to dive into it today. Let's talk a little bit about it. So these self-conscious negative thoughts, it's just coming from a place where you just view, you're, you're viewing yourself as just bad or something happened in your life to view th certain things and, and certain parts of your life as just bad. And the first step is just understanding that that's just flawed. You need to logically understand that it is flawed. So let's say you have a lot of self-conscious negative thoughts in a social interaction. You need to understand that th those thoughts are flawed. Why are they fl flawed? You may be asking, why are, they, why are they flawed? Prove that they're flawed. Okay, for instance, when you're talking to someone, Oh, they're judging me. Oh my God, what do they think of me? Oh, is that what I said awkward? Oh, blah, 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 blah. You're only focusing on negatives when everything has a polarity structure to it. Yes, while there may be some negative aspects to that social interaction, you're not even drawing a single grain of attention to the positive ones. Why are you doing that? Because you are stuck in a pattern of negativity. And, and you may have a deep, deep pain point that has, been, that has not been addressed, that maybe you got traumatized when you were younger or from bullying in school when you were younger, that has stayed with you and keeps sending you back into this autopilot mode. You don't even fucking realize you're doing it when you're in these interactions, when that's happening. So first you need to understand that, oh damn, I, I'm only looking at the, the negatives. Once you logically understand that, you must now tackle this with experience because logical understanding is not sufficient. The brain, operates in a really mysterical way, mysterious way. And the first step I, I did, I started listening to affirmations, affirmations that helped me become a more social person. Then I just got out there, man. You just have to go tackle the fear. Whatever you're afraid of, tackle it. Tackle it in small grains. That's how you prove the negative thoughts wrong. You don't just tell the negative thoughts, you're wrong, you're stupid. You have to fight it with action. You have to get the body moving. You have to show the negative thoughts. You can't just tell it. You have to show it that it's false. You have to go and experience that positivity. You have to see it for yourself. You have to see these videos of other people experiencing it positively, of me telling you my positive interactions, that example again, let's say social situations. And you have to understand that it's possible and then realize that it's possible for yourself by relating to the person doing it and finally going out and experiencing it. And that's how it starts changing. And you do that over and over and over till the number of positive experiences overrule the amount of negative and guess what? It goes down. It's just like mathematics. So, you know, self-conscious negative thoughts is a very vague subject. And you may have 
be, you might be like certain parts of this didn't address it. Maybe this video didn't address the things specific to you. Maybe um, this didn't really answer your questions and that's okay. That's also why I'm making this. I want to reach out to you and be like, hey, hey, drop your comment down below and tell me what your problem is. Tell me what you're suffering from. Tell me your thoughts. I'm going to make content about it. I've, I ran a poll. We got like 50 comments on there. I'm legit just taking those questions, copying it into my notes. And that's what inspired me to make this. So drop your comments down below. If you like this video, drop a like, make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bells. Fearless Dan, and I'm peacing out of here. Later, motherfuckers. Time to switch a lane